Edmonton family is pleading with the federal government to reverse a decision denying a sibling from entering the country. Their mother is in hospice care and hopes all the kids can be by her side before she dies. They say the government's reasoning was offensive. Nerman Issa reports. <laughs> Marietta Luna gets emotional watching this video of her mother in a hospital bed with her father by her side. They're soaking up as much time together while they still can. Any time this doctor said that he, he's going, she, she's dying. Dominga Morante is in a hospice care, diagnosed with glioblastoma, a form of cancer. Doctors say the 78-year-old does not have much time left. That's my mother's dying wish. She want all her children to be in, in, in like to be, to, to probably say a last farewell. Four of the five siblings moved from the Philippines to Canada more than two decades ago. In October, Mary Lou Madriejos, along with her husband and daughter, applied for visitor visas. Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada denied the requests. An agent wrote in part, I'm not satisfied that you will leave Canada at the end of your stay. Adding, the purpose of your visit to Canada is not consistent with a temporary stay given the details you have provided in your application. My sister, if she wants to come here, she have done that 20 years ago. The siblings say the decision left them offended. They shouldn't be jumping into conclusion like, yeah, they're not going to leave because the, the prime reason and the foremost reason my sister wants to come here is to, to, to see my mom. This immigration lawyer says Canada's visa policy is flawed. They don't say, oh, if you're going there on an urgent family situation, we are willing to compassionately waive some requirements. They don't care if your mom is dying. They still want to make sure that you have all the ties back to your country so they're sure that you're not going to overstay. The family has reached out to their local MP and MLA with no luck. CTV News reached out to the federal immigration minister's office. It says it cannot comment on individual cases and the minister cannot overturn a decision made by immigration officers. We're knocking on in your heart, like, please have compassion. Nair Nisa, CTV News, Edmonton.